the biggest, most exciting random pack video yet. Welcome everyone, look at this! I've got, yep, 12 random packs today and uh, some real high-end packs. This is super exciting. I was just thinking, why always limit myself to 8 packs? So there you go, I've got 12 today. This is going to be incredible. I'm super excited and I just want to mention before I jump into the packs, I also have a giveaway right up here. You can go and join it, but uh, regardless, I'll have to go really fast today because there's so many packs, some requests as well in this one. And let's just go over the packs for today. So we got 0910 Series 2 Retail Pack, looking for the, I guess, David Dernay Young Guns. I would be uh, looking for that one. Then 1920 Upper Deck Series 1 Hobby Pack, so much variety in this one. 1011 Donruss from Panini Hobby Pack. And then 1920 Upper Deck Series 2 Hobby. This is one I've never done before. 1819 CHL Hobby Pack with 16 cards. And then 1819 Series 1 Hobby, 1920 OPG Platinum, 2015 Upper Deck Team Canada Juniors with the chance at the Connor McDavid. This was requested a ton, 13, 14 Fleer Showcase, well any Fleer Showcase was requested and I've ordered some 15, 16 Fleer Showcase for a future video, but this is going to be fun as well. Then look at this, 1920 Artifacts, uh, you probably saw right behind it, look at this one. 2019 Fall Promo Pack. This is from the Toronto Sports Card Expo and I was able to find one online and so this is going to be super exciting. And finally, look at this. SPX 1920. Wow, just an amazing lineup. Uh, I really hope something good is going to be found inside one of these packs because, yeah, I mean, so many great packs and uh, without further ado, Let's just get right in. 0910 Upper Deck Series 2. Young Guns would be 1 in 6 packs. So maybe this is actually a blaster pack. Uh, yeah, that would make a little more sense. But uh, we'll have to see if we get anything. This is probably the cheaper of all of the packs. And here we go. We got Marco Sturm. This is the base card for 0910. And then look at this. Victory Rookie of James Reimer. This is a good start. James Reimer, one of my favorite goaltenders for the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs back in the day. Very cool card. Andrew Ference, Carl Alsner, and Lucas Bisa. All right, well, there's the retail pack for today. Now it's all hobby. 1920 Series 1 hobby pack. Looking for a Young Guns rookie card or something else that might be fun. Let's see. We got an upside down card on the top of Jordan Binnington. Derek Stepan, Austin Matthews, Jake Furtanen, and Alexander Radulov. Seems like this might be an all-base pack. Noah Hannafin, John Klingberg, and Henrik Lundqvist. So I'll just go back and look. It seems like a base pack. You don't get many of those in uh, hobby packs of Series 1 and 2, but guess we got one there. Now we got 1011. Panini Donruss, 10 cards per pack of Donruss, no odds on the back. Steven Stamkos on the front. I think you got two hits per box back in the day and something like 24 packs per box. So we'll have to see if we hit anything in this. This is the base card. We got Alex Steen of the St. Louis Blues. Good old school Panini base card. Corey Stillman and then Jimmy Howard upside down with a horrible record last season. And uh, then Tyler Kennedy, Nick Backstrom, Mike Fisher, a decoy, Steve Mason, Alish Hemsky, Milan Hayduke, and Tobias Enstrom. Another base pack. Now we have 1920 Series 2 Hobby. This is the set where you can find the Kale McCarr Young Guns rookie card. So uh, we'll have to see we can hit that or anything that would be remotely close to that. That'd be pretty awesome. So let's see. We have something blue. I think we got an Opeachy card. So we got Eric Johnson, Claude Giroux, Anders Lee, and Connor Clifton, Marquee Rookies Blue. That's not bad at all. Connor Clifton, Blue Marquee Rookies. These are a little harder to get. All right. Sebastian Ajo, Danton Heinen, Brady McNabb, and Tyler Ennis. 
So yeah, this is a massive opening. A lot of packs, but it's going to be a ton of fun. The best has been saved. 1819 CHL hobby pack. Autographs, 1 in 22 for the base autos. And I believe there are some other autographs. I can't find them though. Um, but we'll have to see if we get anything. An Alexis Lafreniere card would be awesome. So we'll have to see. We got Josh Brook. Very nice. Montreal Canadiens prospect. Uh, Alexis Gravel. He got released from uh, the team he was drafted by. I can't remember who that actually was. But uh, Sean Boudrias. Michael DiPietro prospect for the Vancouver Canucks. Scott Walford. And Cody Glass. Top level talent. Very nice. Cody Glass. Now with the Vegas Golden Knights. Got a star rookies of Rory Karens. Very nice. Brett Davis, Leon Gawanky, I guess. Uh, Darian Pylon, Jordan Hollett, Julien Tessier, Milos Roman, Daniil Antropov, Cédric Paré, and Jimmy Huntington. So, no autograph in that one, unfortunately, but still some cool cards. Now we got 1819 Upper Deck Series 1 Hobby Pack. Looking for the Elias Pedersen Young Guns rookie card. I wouldn't mind another Kotkaniemi. That'd be pretty cool. We'll have to see. We have Jonathan Ubaldo, Sean Couturier, Pontus Auberg, and we got a canvas card of Darnell Nurse. Darnell Nurse UD Canvas. And then Matthias Ekholm, Jonathan Drouin, Carl Soderberg, and Kyle Connor. All right, nothing incredible so far, but we still have one, two, three, four, five, six packs. So we're halfway through this break. We got 1920 OPG Platinum. Autographs fall one per box, so one per 20 packs. We'll have to see if uh, we get any luck there. So here we go. We got a Taro Hirose. would be a marquee rookie card. Very nice. And then Patrick Liney, Rainbow. Pretty nice. Rainbow parallel. And then a Braden Point retro card and a Mikhail Bodker base card. Okay. There was Platinum. Now we got 2015 Canada Juniors. Nothing spectacular so far. But hopefully we can get something. Maybe McDavid in here. This pack feels really thick. We got a decoy though. So uh, no patch in this one. That is for sure. We have Max Domi. Love to see it. Josh Morrissey. Uh, Jamie Lee Rattray, Robbie Fabry, Connor Hobbs, and we got a gold of Nick Paul. Nick Paul, Ottawa Senator prospect. I don't really know if he's still a prospect, but Nick Paul, gold. All right. And now this is the one that has been requested a ton. 1314 Fleer Showcase. Let's see if this one can uh, save this break in any way. Something awesome. McKinnon, maybe. We'll have to see. We have Steve Mason. This is the base. And actually, these cards are sticking quite a bit. So that's a bit of a shame. The back of uh, the 1314 Fleer Showcase base card. And then we have Grant Fuhr. And then, I guess, a uh, Fleer Ultra retro card of Henrik Zetterberg. Okay, not too bad. And then a decoy, Travis Zajac, and on the back, Mike Gartner. Okay, nothing huge so far. Only three packs to go. Come on, let's have something save this break. Artifacts, 1920. I'd like to see something huge. Come on, Artifacts. Let's go. Oh, yeah, the decoys are white, so this actually might be a decoy. We'll have to see. We got Casey Middlestad and Matthew Kachuk. This would be, I guess, a pink parallel numbered 83 out of 85. All right, not too bad, but uh, yeah, not the biggest hit in artifacts. Devin Dubnik and Ryan Strom. All right, come on. These are very expensive packs. The 2019 Fall Promo Pack. No odds. Uh, yeah, I've pulled autographs in the past. Let's just hope for something. Come on, let's see something save the day. Hopefully, we can get something good as this pack is just absolutely shredding. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I got to be very careful here. Uh, give me one second. All right. And, oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. So, we got a Jacob Pelletier, 27 out of 50. This would be a Canada Juniors, I guess, Midnight Parallel. And then Quinn Hughes, 
Victory rookie, this is very nice. And then, ooh, what is this? Doug Gilmore, timeless memory, chronology, and not numbered. Okay, uh, that's interesting, not an autograph. I've never pulled one of these chronology cards from the fall expo pack, so this might be something. Uh, okay, very interesting. But, again, still nothing massive. Come on, SPX. This is not my favorite product, but there are some amazing cards to find. Some UD Black. So let's just go. I think there's a decoy and a car. That's usually how it is. So, yeah, and I think we got a UD Black card. So I'll try and not spoil it. I saw the Nashville logo, so that's not too great. Unless it might be autographed. We'll have to see. Come on, let's hit something good. We got the decoy and... Come on. Who is this? Oh, we got a Dante Fabro black rookie jersey from SPX. I mean, it's a nice looking card, but oh, that, that's a bit of a stinger when you buy an SPX pack. And it just guarantees that it's been worn by the featured players, so not game used. Yeah, that's a little rough. That uh, I'm going to be honest. I mean... Yeah, this was uh, not the cheapest opening, and uh, this could maybe be the best card. So, yeah, that was that was a little rough. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get into the insert recap. Okay, insert recap time. This was pretty rough. We got a Henrik Zetterberg Fleer Ultra card from a Fleer Showcase. Nick Paul Gold from Team Canada. Braden Point Retro. Patrick Line Rainbow, Taro Hirose Marky Rookie, Darnell Nurse Canvas, Rory Kennens Star Rookie, Top Level Talent of Cody Glass, a Marky Rookie's Blue of Connor Clifton, Victory Rookie of James Reimer, and then a Quinn Hughes Black Victory Rookie from the Expo Pack, Jacob Pelletier numbered out of 50. This would be uh, Canada Junior's Midnight Parallel, and then a Brady Kachuk out of 85 pink card from artifacts a doug gilmore timeless memories chronology card from the expo pack and then a ud black dante fabro jersey from spx yeah that is oh i don't even know if all of those cards would make up for the single spx pack so very very rough break unfortunately uh yeah Hopefully, something in the future can make up for this, but uh, yeah, I'm obviously not super pleased with this one. I mean, it's always cool to open up these expo packs, but yeah, I'll be honest, this was pretty rough. Thank you for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Watch me throw a bit of my money away, and yeah, that is that. I hope to see you all next time.